Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so let's. Why don't you explain to me what you're doing here and how? Now uh, these lines I'm putting are lines that bring in movement in a piece of work, and they give me time or they give me chance to twist my work and bring in a bit of movement in it. So after that one, what I believe in is the uh, Africans always have a tendency. We, we still have too much of hearts in Africa. We still have too much of hearts in Africa, and most of the parts of the country of Uganda we have not yet uh, graduated so much from there. That's why I'm putting these hearts form as a homestead in the background. Okay. Yeah, something like this. And so just to clarify, before when I asked you how you learned about the art, you pretty much learned this art um, in school, is that right? Huh. Like, you learned you learned to do art in, in school? Did you take an art class or uh, this from art? your teacher, your art teacher? Oh, the one I'm having right now, I got it from NTC, but uh, I've got that one called Miss Igala. Mm. He has really helped me a lot to do what I am today. So is, would he be kind of, would you have been like an apprentice to him? Or he, he, he taught you how to, to use the bar cloth? And you found a bit of uh, knowledge with art. Mm -hmm. But uh, he added me to something, mm -hmm. especially in the back room. Okay. How to use it. Okay. Yeah, how to use it. So this one gives me room. When I put lines, I get chance to decorate women according to where Africans are decorated. Mm -hmm. They always have decorative art, they respect it so much. So that's why I'm using these lines to bring in that as well. That is the other reason why I put the lines there. It gives me room to decorate African women the way there. And I chose this topic just because uh, women, this is one of the staple of food. We use this one to clash our food. Mm -hmm. If uh, you're having cassava flour, if you're having millet, if you're having sorghum, you can use this to crush it so that they receive it right. later on make food. Okay. <coughs> what about some of these colors? You said before you use mostly the the colors that bring out the 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 tone of the bark cloth. So you use the the black and the the orange and uh, the white. Well, we try, like me especially in my area. I try to use colors that match the color of the background, not to look so different mm -hmm. as an artist. You try to, like, uh, uh, I'm using uh, orange. I, I do use orange color. Orange is not so different from uh, uh, the brown of the background. Mm -hmm. So, like this one, you, you, I'm going to apply it here. You apply it gently. Whereby, when one looks at it, it doesn't look so striking. It does not look so striking from the color of the back cloth. The color of the back cloth as well becomes part of the art piece. Like this one here. After putting in this, putting in this color here properly, following the lines you put in sort of contours. Mm -hmm. You follow them very well and gently and slowly so that you make, you make something good. So you know that what we're going to do is we're going to put this video on the website as well, uh, when we and we're going to put a biography about you and uh, the art that you do onto our website. Okay. How does that sound to you? Yeah, I think it sounds great. Yeah. I think it sounds great. That should help a little bit with what you were talking before now about the market. On one of on I will be appearing for the first time on the website. Hmm. Then I, mm, I feel great. Great. Well, I'm glad that we were able to find you. Of course, we did find Mr. Kebe's art mm -hmm. first in the in the uh, in the African village yeah. in downtown Kampala, and we were able to track him down. Mm -hmm. He come out here. He's invited us out to his home and his workshop, where he could demonstrate to us how he makes the bar cloth paintings, and as well as just talk to us, to us a little bit more about 
himself and his background. And uh, we sure do thank you for letting us come out and spend this time with you today. Thank you too. Great. All right. Thank you too.